yo. Turn me up. Right, check one, two. Hey. We different flavors with your face. We twerk when we hit our base. Your favorite sisters in a place with style and grace. Classy, we sassy with the ratchet. We party late to a rapper when we showing up. We showing up body. Three sisters, we can talk ish. Spit etiquette. They convo be lit. She clap shit. Classy and ratchet. We can't help it. Two out of three conflicts dismissed. Hey, what up, though, my favorite people? It's your honest hairstylist, Miss Love, and you are listening to She Clatch It. We are always here with the three real sisters. What's up, sisters? How y'all doing? What up, do? What's good, y'all? And we are honored to have our uh, sister station podcast <laughs> in the building with us. We have Drip and Curves. What's up, my people? Hey, What's Drip. Introduce hey, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself to the people. Ladies first. Oh, well, thank you. My name is Angelise. I am one half of Drip and Curves podcast. Um, this your boy Tommy Biggs, aka Mr. Forty Eight Hours himself. Here you go. Don't get on here showing out now. What does Forty Eight Hours mean? Only two days, baby. Only two days. That's all he got for you is the weekend. Um, okay. He just keep you satisfied on the weekend, yeah, like Sizzle. She lying. <laughs> she lying. She lying. Don't listen to her. It's Don't the Sizzle verse. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. Well, thank you for letting us have some time in your 48-hour span. Right? Okay. It is the weekend. (laughs) Okay. So we always like to talk about etiquette. Mm -hmm. And etiquette, by definition, is um, the proper code of conduct when you are in public or in a social setting. Okay. In other words, how you act. Manners. Accordingly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You know, nice. Don't get looked at sideways. Nonverbal communications. We we want our people to win, okay? And okay. we know that when you have etiquette, it helps you have respect from your uh co workers and associates and people around you. The outsiders. True. True. Yes. For sure, for sure. So Angelise, we had a chance to talk for a second this yes, week. Yes, we did. And you let me know that you are in management mm-hmm. and customer service. Yes. So when I tell you that our people absolutely need etiquette when it comes to customer service. Oh, don't they? Yes. Yeah, so they? thank Jesus. you for being here. <laughs> and just tell me some proper etiquette that you enforce with the people that are under you who you help manage. What is important for your workers to do? Uh, with customer service, etiquette, there are a lot of layers depending on the company that you work for. Uh, this particular company that I do work for, we have like a flow chart. So a flow chart is pretty much like points you are supposed to hit in between a call, as far as greeting a person, saying their name, saying, hey, I can assist you, a whole bunch of, you know, just super technical um, etiquette you're supposed to have. Sometimes, you don't, if you don't hit it, you miss a mark. So we pretty much coach people on, hey, primarily what we want you to do is say their name. We want it to be a personal call. I say, hey, Bob, happy to help you. Um, the company that I work for, I always just sum it up as we can build your house. Like, <laughs> like it's so many different layers, but at the end of the day, we can build your house besides the windows. So that's just to sum up the company I work for now. And they have, like, a flow chart. So you're just supposed to hit certain things, certain points in between the call flow, and that makes you create, like, a 100% etiquette call. So um, just being friendly, stating your name, being helpful, giving a bridge statement. They want kind of want you to make a friend. Um, okay. everyone's techniques are different so I don't try to judge everybody accordingly because everyone is not going to sound how I sound nobody can switch up their voices how I can switch up my voices so I get that so people sound like hey if I was to call can you please give me your work voice Ooh, so sure. ring 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 hi this is Angelise how can I help you today hi Angelise this is Fran um I need X, Y, Z. Can you help me? I'll be happy to assist you today, friend. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Or are you just weighing your options today? 
Okay, so, so you see how you switch it up versus how I really talk. Anybody that know me know I talk like a real nigga. Like I and I always tell it's different layers of. I've been I've worked for several different companies under customer service, so you have to switch it up. Like when I first started, of course I was like extra nice. Now I'm to the point if I got to repeat myself three times, I'm like nigga, what you want? I don't get it. I don't know what you want. What do you want? So I always it depends on how you are. Are on the other end of the phone on how you're what type of person your customer service agent you're going to receive so it just depends and i always tell my customers like we don't work for disney disney is hired for you to a- ask the same question a hundred different ways and we give you the same answer i wasn't this is not disney if you ask me the same question three times i'm gonna think you stupid and now i got some additional questions for you like can you hear me are you yeah. are you able to cut your phone? Is Look, there anyone else I can human? talk to Look, that human? can help me are with this robot? issue? So, <laughs> right. you know? yeah, with customer service, there are a lot of different ways. I would say by it being over the phone for me, it's a little bit easier. Uh, Tommy probably has it worse because he's more face to face customer service with oh, his work. <laughs> so, um, I work in the clothing store, um, and due to the fact I deal with different types of people, and right now. The worst season is coming up for me, which is tax season. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Because we spending money, honey. Yeah. But um, I remember in my work environment is so diverse. Like, I, I work with um, a girl that's from Russia, a guy that's from India, oh. and um, an Arabic guy. You know, mm-hmm. Wasam. Al Wasam. I don't know if y'all. Okay. Yeah. What's up? Shout okay. out to yeah. Al Wasam. Shout out to yep. Al Wasam. Yes. Yep. Detroit legend. Yeah. Yep. So, um, I, work, I work with Al Wasam and... Um, I remember one time I had a woman that came in and she had an attitude, off top attitude. <laughs> and my my Indian friend that actually, you know, that worked with me, he he don't he don't he don't know how to work with that. You know, me yeah. and she was a black woman, so you know me, I'm 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 real like with my people when they come in mm-hmm. there, you know, like I got you. You feel mm-hmm. me? <laughs> black people come in, I got you. So she came in and um come to find out her attitude was it was her wedding day. She was trying to find something for her kid to wear. For a wedding day. In your store? They was getting married at the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At yeah, what time? Because like, yeah. the store he sell like streetwear. Right. Like, you didn't like, go to They was getting married at the courthouse. I'm like, what the fuck you in there for? <laughs> they, was getting, they was getting married at the courthouse, but I actually just, you know, I calmed her down. And mm-hmm. I got her together. I got her. I got. Her, I got her son well dressed. You mm-hmm. know what I mean. Her older son. I got them all together perfectly. And uh, she left out. She left out happy. And she actually sent us a lot of customers. That's so that good. Was, but you know, other than that s- scenario, I, I deal with a lot of attitude. You know, people come in there, they throwing stuff, and and I didn't realize how much it how much it mattered until I actually started doing inventory. Because mm-hmm. uh, for a minute, I was just the muscle. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna say security because I'm not taking a bullet for no man. <laughs> you know, so but I was just the muscle. So now that I, I actually work there, work there is different for you know. Yeah. So don't come here just throwing everything around. Ask mm-hmm. me, you know, uh, hey, how you doing? You, you are you looking to match anything up? So your customer service a little bit more. Detailed. Oh yeah, most definitely. And yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fashion guru, you know. Do you set. hit people as soon as they walk through the door? Oh, yeah. Or do you I'm, give them a chance to look around and walk around? I'm I'm right. So most people that come in our store, they already know. Like they they come in with a shoe or a shirt or maybe in some maybe even some jeans, and they they know exactly what they're looking for. Okay. But they don't know how to find it. And okay. that's me. Like, look, I'm going to show you how to put this together. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm 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 real well with that. And that shit high. I'm going to be honest. Because <laughs> I went in there to buy an outfit to support. And my nephew one years old. And if niggas thought I was spending $200 on a one-year-old. <laughs> I mean, you <laughs> look what you were looking at. And it ain't come out my womb. Right. <laughs> 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 You Even if they at, came out your womb, you'd be like, and that was on sale. <laughs> you know, I, you know, out I just want to put that was on sale. <laughs> so Jeez. you was looking at Rockstar. Rockstar is like, I went two hundred dollars. Rockstar is a very <laughs> Rockstar is a very expensive. Brand. I love my nephew, but I don't love that nigga that much. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been up to if I buy him, too, he wearing that bitch all days of the week. <laughs> this is your yeah. only outfit. I need yeah. to see you right. like get all your money's worth, and I'm passing that bitch down to my friends, son. Yeah, exactly. So I get all my two hundred dollars worth. <laughs> Back when you grow out of it, <laughs> most definitely. Yes, right. So, would you consider yourself a people person, Tommy? Nope. <laughs> no, no, you lying. But, but you, you, but you I, still. I love. I love. 
I love to make somebody, yeah, (laughs) most definitely love women, yeah, but no, what it is, I like for people to leave out the store or whatever and and feel good about what they Mm -hmm. got, you know what I mean, because like I say, I like to, I like to dress, you know, I I like to dress, I don't know if y'all follow me on the gram or not, but if you ever follow me on the gram, you see I love to dress, yeah, you look saucy, yeah, I love to look nice. This is not juice. This is sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? So you know, I, I, I like to, I like to make people look good because you know, it, it always leads them to come back. Like I just this lady just yesterday, she came in the store and she was looking for a jersey, um, a Memphis Grizzly jersey. That's mm. it. I remember this. She came in the store yesterday. Like I said, my Indian friend, he just don't know how to handle our people. He, I could tell he did. Yeah, he don't know how to handle our people. So I'm like, you know. He like he wanted to charge a full price plus tax. I'm like, look, man, I got her. You know what I mean? I put it together. You know, she a stud. I put it together with a nice little jersey, with an open, you know, a little open space on the side. You know, to get it. You know, get that belly some breathing room. You know, I'm. You know, oh, I, got, I was definitely about that. You know, I got that big boy. I got that big boy. So, um, it, this morning she come in with her brother. It's that okay. simple. She came mm-hmm. with her brother. She was like, look, I told him how you took care of me, so I brought him in here. You know, we ain't Good from business. this side of town, so I brought him in here. And it's just that simple. So would I consider myself a people, people person? No. Yeah. Most definitely. But back then, no. It's because of your job. That's what's yeah. up. But, you know, the more you work with people, you do exactly. learn how yeah. to deal with them. Yeah. I think yeah. mine has went down, honestly. Like, when I first started... Um, I was more of a people person. I could spark up a conversation and just be so bubbly and giggly and all that stuff in the in the in the uh, office setting. But now I'm more or less like I'm judging everybody. Right. I'm like, what you want? <laughs> what you looking for? <laughs> what you trying to get? It's like it's hard for me to open up. Like this job I've been at. It'll be a year. So I'm like, and I'm just started talking to people. And that's only because I got pushed into a different department. So I'm like, and they like, dang, you were so quiet because I sat in the end seat, but people didn't know I was there. I was so quiet. So like, dang, you so quiet when we hired you. You told us you you had a podcast. I was like, well, you can't bring that energy in here just because I tell, and I told y'all, I don't have a filter. So the things that cross my mind, I can't talk about because it's not HR appropriate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now that I'm in a different department where I can relate to more people, it's like we can have those conversations. But it's like it made me like when I get off work, don't talk to me. Like my ex, that's something we struggle with, especially when we were sharing. We went through that phase of sharing a car. Oh, Jesus. When he would pick me up, I would be like, bro, I, it got to one day I had to tell this thing like, give me 30 minutes. When I get in the car, just kiss me, say hello. Don't say shit else. <laughs> That's it. Don't say That's all cut I need. the music up. You know what I like to hear. Cut the music up. I'm good to go. Like we don't have to have all that conversation. Give me an hour to wind down. Mm-hmm. Then we can start talking and doing all the extra shit. But he just knew. And he'd be like, Oh, you had a hard day today. All right, what you want to eat? And he, you know, people just get used to your, you know, feelings as you go along. But it was like it people gotta learn you at the end of the day. But I was like, not a people person. I'm still like that. Like when I get off, give me a minute. I gotta listen to my music on blast on the way home. By the time I get home, okay, I may be able to talk to somebody, but don't yeah. call me at five or one. Don't mm. don't do it. <laughs> you sound like mm-hmm. me. <laughs> call me after ten. Okay. Yep, after ten. Right. Um, sisters, Rita, when it comes to customer service etiquette, I mean you you have to deal with people with your career. I do. So what is important, you know, as the nurse when you're communicating with uh, people's families? Now, what etiquette do you want your, because you're a management too, so what do you want your people, your nurses to do That's with family? Conclusion. What's important? I want them to critically, critically think. Mm-hmm. In nursing, you know, you can't, you have to think outside of the box. You have to put a whole picture together from each puzzle piece. So think outside of the box. And I also want them to know this is when people are at their most vulnerable stages in life. People are sick, their families, you know, it's something new for everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's very challenging. You know, some people might not be able to go back to their home. So now they have to find somewhere to go and, you know, families are fighting, you know, so I want everybody to just be considerate to all of that. Mm. Cause you know, some people don't have money. They don't have insurance. It's hard. And it's hard for them, just as hard as it is for us. I have a question just to interject real quick. How do you guys determine that a person is not fit to go back home? 
Like, what puts them in a position to say, you have to go to a nursing home? So, I I work in a rehabilitation center. So, say people come in there. They come from the hospital to my facility. So, say they're, okay, they're in rehab for two weeks. They're not making any progress. This lady needs maximum care for everything. She can't go home by herself like that. Who's going to take care of her, you know? Mm -hmm. And home care, yeah, they might come eight hours a day, but they Mm -hmm. can you she need twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. And so unless you got some real bread and some yeah. good ass insurance, yeah, really. right. yeah. so y'all make that decision that. and say, "Hey, you can't go back home. We so put we you suggest. in." This. We I'll suggest. be ready to okay, go as soon as I get there. Yeah, because yeah. I always how wondered how are. that worked. Like, is it like we forcing you into this, or it's like your personal decision yeah, to take this? It step? is, yeah. and it's their decision. It's their right. Okay. You know, it's always mm-hmm. patience, rights. So yeah, cool. Yep. So my bam. <laughs> the mean with, girl. With, you, <laughs> with y'all mean right. ass okay. mean girl. <laughs> dealing with these uh people, people. yeah who are uh, <laughs> she like, who I, are technologically so you work in like strict IT technologically <laughs> help or you gotta yes. call on the phone like hey I got nigga, you putting your password in wrong. Like, I, got, I got three dogs, and a, mm-hmm. I got three dogs and a snake. I got three dogs and a snake, yeah. I'd rather deal with them. <laughs> Me too. Right? And yeah. a monkey, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me the animals. Um well, yeah, what what's the etiquette? You know that your co- that your uh that the corporation forces you guys to do and that you think it's important for you and your coworkers to to do. Um I I would like to say what's important for the people that I'm helping to do. Well, what's that? (laughs) (laughs) It's to have more patience, Mm -hmm. more understanding that I did not, I'm not Bill Gates. I did not create this computer. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I didn't build this system. I'm not Microsoft. It's not my fault. I just fix what's broken. You know what I mean? So it's like, don't ask me why did this happen? It was working fine before. Like it was, it's brand new. It was, you know, like I don't know. Listen, shit it's happens. working now, right? Yeah, right. I, I wasn't in here touching this. <laughs> this right. This, this wasn't me doing it. And nine times out of ten, it's probably something you did. Mm-hmm. You know, but we can't do that. We can't blame it on them. They've been, they've been searching <laughs> porn all day. Yeah. Right. You right. <laughs> do you see that type of stuff? Are you mirroring like, oh, your search history is the reason why you fucked up right now? <laughs> no, I tried not to go <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to judge you that, yeah. you clicked on like animal, animal porn, porn. <laughs> right right, right. Yeah. come on you watching animal porn bro <laughs> this way you got why. a virus yeah, that's, why. <laughs> that's <laughs> your problem you need to fix this mm-hmm. okay yeah. <laughs> so what about you yeah okay well cause I know you, know. you deal with uh I you do face to face. Right, right. Hair right. service you too. Do a lot of fun. And you gotta Absolutely. have a fake smile, even when Somebody. you ain't what? trying to smile. Let yeah. me tell you. How much you charge? Okay, <laughs> it depends on what you need. <laughs> <laughs> you got your yeah. favorite prices, or you just got one set price across yeah, the board? Yeah, well, this where I'm at in 2019. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm doing business. Whew. Respect. I did favors. I did business. I'm doing business mm-hmm. now. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So you know, a I'm I'm very passionate about what I do. Um, I've been licensed almost 18 years. Oh, yeah. So you know, like I'm like I'm true to the patience. game. Yeah, and, and I'm studying hair loss because hair loss is something that's becoming really, really prevalent, mm-hmm. you know, amongst mm-hmm. women. And it's I do feel lines. like, I mean, in, environment. It ain't even my hairline. That's the sad part. Edges yeah. is intact. Right. <laughs> but, you know. Bitch for a little alopecia. <laughs> <laughs> right. Different. But, I mean, you know, hair is not. It, it's a whole lot going on. You know, hey, I have my conspiracy theories on. Why are we a little bit more thinner earlier than, you know, the generations ahead of us? Mm. Can, you, yeah. can you talk can about you it? Can you tell us something? Yeah, Maybe I, I can change I my know. lifestyle. I like, right. I like details. Well, well, first of all, I like the radiation that we have going oh, yeah. in and through us. I absolutely yeah. believe that has something to do with, Most definitely you know, right. our hair, oh, real, so our mental yeah. yeah, all that. Most yeah. definitely, though. Yeah. 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 I've I'm with her on that one. I'm most definitely with you on that one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but back to customer service. <laughs> <laughs> like when people come into me, they are bringing like I'm I'm not only the hairstylist, but I'm the home girl. I'm the psychologist. That's why I nickname myself the honest hairstylist because mm-hmm. you have to have someone who is honest with you. And I want to be that person. You know, I'm I'm going to 
be as nice as I possibly can, but <laughs> I'm going to mm. be real amongst everything. You know, I'm not lying to you. I ain't faking. I ain't front. That's one mm, thing I'm yeah. not going to do. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. So and a real when client it comes, will respect that too, for honestly. sure. And if they don't, sorry for you. I'm not the one for you, yeah, and that's cool. Sorry yeah, for yeah. you, not your mother. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Yeah, if it's gonna look stupid, I'm just gonna tell you. I don't think that it's gonna look good. But if you insist, then hey, let's do it, and don't complain to me afterwards. I like hairstylists. Like, I had a couple yeah. hairstylists, and I was like, oh, I want to do natural and be short. And sis felt my head and was like. <laughs> This ain't no, it. sis. <laughs> you can be short, <laughs> but you ain't gonna be natural. <laughs> well, this She's ain't like, it. We're putting the perm in this. <laughs> Pick a chain. And I respected her. Like, if she was like, oh, I'm sorry. If he... I was like, no, because I'm the type of person where you can be honest. So, like, hurt my feelings with the truth, then to suffocate right. me with a lie. I'm Cause good. Because you, you'll respect me at the end of the mm-hmm. day, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but people can bring their all to you, but as a hairstylist, you cannot give that same energy back to them like yeah. they don't want to hear about you know my money woes they don't want to hear about how my you know i'm having trouble with my son they don't want to hear mm-hmm. about you know all all the, the negative stuff that they could bring to me you right. know like you know it's just i'm just have to absorb and listen and then encourage mm-hmm. oh yeah yeah so yeah that's so the would, one have you ever had anybody that like tried to fight you no. within your 18 years no Never had any. Had no rowdy customers. No, no, I have yeah, had I somebody. Let me tell you, people can act like they want to bring it, but once I mm. step up and show them that I ain't scared, let's go. You know it. it they back up a little bit. Have okay. you ever had anybody yeah. ask you for money? Ask me for money? No, I've had people ask me for credit. Oh, yeah, like, I never had like the courage. I, can't I even have never yeah. had Friday. the courage to walk into like a shop. Even I had a hairstylist for like two years, and I would never. Even if I was like twenty dollars, I was. I'm gonna find that twenty for you, sis. Yeah, for sure. I just can't walk in that bitch and be like, "Hey, can uh, I get you the the twenty <laughs> next time?" Yeah, when I get paid welcome, on Friday, like, yeah. I just don't that. It's something with a, a hairstylist. I would never even attempt to have that conversation. So don't come get your I'm hair pussy. done if you ain't got the money. Yeah, that's what, I'm pussy as hell. So yeah. with that one, with Rock the hairstylist, your ponytail like you got been it. Doing all week. Yeah, you got it, sis. I'm going to give you all your money. One of, <laughs> one of my kids' mom, after she got her hair done by her hairstylist, her hairstylist asked her for it. An additional fifty dollars, you know, like for what? Like she needed a loan. Yes, like I'll do your hair yes. for free next time. Wow. And I was just like, that's Damn. tacky. Like, she gave it to her. No. Oh, okay. She called me <laughs> first. <laughs> you know, I ain't giving up shit. She get a confirmation. Like, what you think? <laughs> yeah, she called me first. You know, I what? She did what? Fuck no. Mm-hmm. That's the, no, it's not happening. That's tacky. Yeah, it's yeah. not happening in my book. I think the hairstylist is probably the one and only person in this world I would never owe credit to. <laughs> like, yeah. never. Come on, my weed man. Yeah, the oh. weed man for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, my know. weed man. He owe me credit. You know what's crazy? That you nigga, know what's crazy? Fi- he owe me $5 right but now. You know I'm ready crazy? to go you know back and get some It was money. only three. It was not a 3.5. No, that nigga, he ain't had change, and I wasn't even tripping. He only had bills, and I was like, I'm not about to follow you to the gas station, so I'm going to catch you next time. Don't forget that. Oh, but when I see him again, bruh, take five dollars off. That's like yeah. me. I can, I can walk in the liquor right. store and I can ask the guy, like, you know, let, let me let me let me get a fifth, man. I you know I get to tomorrow, but mm-hmm. you know, not because I have to. It's just because I'm in a rest. Exactly. You feel me? So, but you know. It's just those relationships that you have, like. You, you but see, same thing. I mean, I have people who've been coming to me for. I mean, I've been at seventeen out of my eighteen years. So you got me for credit. So you know they <laughs> think that we super cool. You a cool. new customer. You like, gotta pay. I don't care <laughs> how long I have known you. You know, like I still like I pay a lease where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I got to pay on this lease, honey. Okay, I got to get these products. Do you respect the person? If if it is somebody who has been a long-standing customer with you, if they let you know prior to them getting there and say, hey, oh, I'm that's really low. how it is. Okay, so yeah. it's not like I'm in your chair and I'm like, sis, I'm sure $20. Wow. And by the way, <laughs> have you ever had that happen? Has that no. happened before? No, like I've had people to text me to say, hey, I have an appointment Thursday, but I don't get paid to Friday. Mm-hmm. Can I just come and pay you Friday? Stuff like that. Or can I pay you next week? Okay. So what do you say yeah. when that happens? Yeah, happens? Now, 
It depends no. on who it is. No. Now, now, hold on. In 2019, can't nobody do that. Yeah, 2019, you said no. You, you, you said come sit in this okay. chair, you giving me my money. Period. Yeah, but I now, need previously, <laughs> right. Yeah, I need deposit yeah. 2019. Previously, you, depo- though, you do I deposits have, too? Depend, no, I don't do deposits. Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> in 2019, right. you need deposits. Yeah. Read about to throw you under the bus. She's talking <laughs> like, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but no, before then, like, you know, it. like I said, depend on who it is. Since I have people who I have done that before, before, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you said next week, then it doesn't take you an extra two weeks. Oh, no. Yeah. No, sis. Never we again. We ain't playing no use games. Yeah, never again. Yeah. yeah, no. So, yeah, no, I don't like to play that. Yeah, so just when it comes to what you owe, just pay it up. Yeah, mm. just pay it up. We ain't going to play them games. Yeah, yeah. my hairstylist, she good. She ain't what happened to your finger? Is that a hairstylist yeah. injury? Yeah, my scissors were open. And I kind of just. Those some sharp and it was my, scissors. Yeah, it was my hair cutting scissors. Hair cutting scissors are the sharpest scissors that, you know, you pretty much have. That's a blade. You got, so, yeah. you got a scalpel. <laughs> yeah, you got a scalpel. Right. We, we, Hair cuts be this banging. Sister? <laughs> you got a sister. They call yeah, shears, crazy. so they are like super, super sharp. Oh, for I got sure. a scalpel. Got in my car. I ain't. Damn, I to charge me twenty five dollars a bundle and die my shit. <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's about going price at least. You know, it, that's only if it's that's one. Normal. I'm like, that's yeah. a good price. I know. I'm at like, least. is it good hair? Oh, that's why y'all gave me that look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. Yeah, if, it's just, hair? if it's just a blonde or something, like that's years. cool. But like, if you want them freaky colors, oh, yeah, you going, it's going to be a little bit more. But you know, just for, you know, you a know, nice, simple I'm blonde just doing or something. I know how to yeah. do it, but it's like, it's for my birthday. So I'm like, I want somebody else to do it. But I'm going to bite the bullet on a dye in the hair part because sis was trying to charge me an extra one. 160 for just dying here. I'm like, I'll ah. die, die for no, you. Yeah. Five <laughs> YouTube videos gonna help a nigga out with that. So. Yeah, I'll die. Go for ahead, go cow. to YouTube University, figure it out. I definitely Save will. Save you some money. Okay. I definitely will. <laughs> I, I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all funny. All right. So, look, this customer service etiquette, I think it was well needed. Mm-hmm. I always think people need to be able to communicate you know on both ends the people who are giving the customer service and the people who are receiving Mm because yeah you know how how you approach a situation can help how it comes out definitely yep so uh on this y'all we are going to end this podcast by giving just one more etiquette tip for the customer service uh people my brother with the clothes when folks come in (laughs) and they need that high outfit What's the best way for them to approach you for you to get them together? The best way to approach me, honestly, I feel like just personally, walk up to me and ask me. Don't be like, hey, bro, come here. You know what I mean? That uh-huh. that, that this right here, that come here. You don't yeah. This fetched. don't this 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 don't work for me, you know. This don't work for me. Come here. All right. Just walk up to me, you know, have a conversation. And and, and I get that a lot. I get don't know. Me being who I am and my size, motherfuckers like the you know they they will actually walk up to me like, hey bro. Yeah, hey, you're you don't intimidate big yeah. ass. Yeah. <laughs> they walk up to me like, hey bro, what you uh? They whispering this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry, don't, don't want everybody look, else to hear. <laughs> look, don't let them come in with bags and shit. They're like, you need to hold my bag, nigga. If I hold your, this is Detroit and it's the East Side. <laughs> you feel me? Don't leave your bag there. Your shit be gone. But no, just come up to me and it's actually ask me, like you know. Like, hey, how can I uh, put right. this together? Don't don't hit me with the come here. Be respectful Ayo. with your yeah. approach. <laughs> yeah, the A- and, yeah. And don't do the A-yo and the finger shit. Yeah, my man's. <laughs> All right. Right. I'm not your man. I'm good man. for that one, though. I'll be like, my man's. Let me get you real quick. <laughs> I don't know you. Angelise, you have no etiquette. <laughs> 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 so when people call you and they need help, what is the best way for them to address you? Um, I would say readiness. And I'm sorry to add to. I'm always indecisive. Okay, common sense, but be ready. All right. Common Ooh, sense and readiness girl, is my biggest thing. It's. Not, I wish I could sell that shit. I would be Bill Gates rich, man. Okay. Right. Hey. Same here. <laughs> common sense ain't common. It's and <laughs> you guys, sisters, y'all want to put something in on this? Got some etiquette right quick. Bam, you just amen. Then you was in the choir. Bam, bam, bam cut into me in the hallway. I just want to I want to put this out there. I asked her was that her real hair and she and cut into me. What she said. What she I said. Said. You what don't I ask said. a lady that. That's right. That's what I say before that. I don't remember. Who raised you? Oh yeah. She, <laughs> I was I was raised by two women. 
Okay, so you should know better. Shit, one of them had a fade. I was about to say, you got to realize certain people were raised with women that were weed. They was raised yeah, I was, yeah. Was, was, I am not my hair. Ask but this, this woman is, with yeah, the afro yeah. if but that's But you know what's crazy? Hair. You know what's crazy? I know it's your real hair. I just wanted to bother you. Nah. I can't. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> he's that petty. So I am. Anyway, the mayor of Petty Town, the mayor and governor of Petty Town. What's the petty question? Town. Etiquette for people who call in needing customer service. I didn't make the rules, <laughs> and you are not important for the rules to be bent for. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. World don't I revolve like around your ass. Pretty much. I'm break over. All right, naughty nurse. <laughs> be polite, please, and thank you. Use your manners. That goes a long way. All right. Use your manners for show. That's a part of etiquette. And follow She Clatchet on Instagram and get some more etiquette. Wait. You can also follow us on Facebook, and Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, um, www.sheclatchet.com. Okay. Watch us on YouTube. Are y'all on Crush Spot? No. <laughs> Tell us <laughs> about it later. Tell us about that. They still have that. I don't know. Um, I need my page back. I think MySpace is still going on. <laughs> really? Tom? I, I think saw, my, I saw a Black Planet. Ad. Yeah, Black Planet was Black still Planet going still on. Yeah, yeah, like it's, it's like Y'all, uh, the this Black is Market not now. Throwback Thursday. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Dripping Curves, Tommy, Angelise. Appreciate yes, you guys for being thanks here. Thanks for having us. Okay, this collaboration, y'all, is what's I know. Up. We got to do this more yes. often. Yes. 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 I had a great time definitely. with you guys. Yeah. Yeah, All right, cool. Fun. Yeah, my people, y'all always be amazing. Peace. Peace.